welcome to my garage in Denmark. Scan tools are a mechanic's best friend. That is absolutely true. It doesn't really matter if it's a cheaper one or a more expensive one. Without them, you just can't fix your car. That's how it is. But the scan tools can actually do much more than just reading an error code and erasing it afterwards. Even cheaper ones have access to valuable information which can be used when you're working with uh, technical issues or trying to diagnose whatever is wrong with your car. I'm going to dedicate a whole series of videos now where I will be focusing on the live data or data stream as it's also referred to. And it's, the aim is basically to inspire your creativity to use the live data in ways that you probably haven't thought about. So basically, this uh, series is for you who's a novice in working with cars and would like actually to get more knowledge about your scan tool and how to use it in an efficient way to, if not hit the nail directly on the spot, at least put you in the right ballpark when it comes to diagnosing your car. So let's jump to it. And this very first episode is about wheel speed sensors or ABS sensors. So let's jump to it. So in this first episode, as I said, we'll be focusing on an ABS sensor because it is so that I have a car here which is throwing the error code 1121 and 1123, which is related to a missing vehicle speed signal to the power steering control module. Basically, it says that, hey, something's wrong here. I don't know how fast my car, the car is driving, so I'm not able to give you the correct assistance with your power steering. And, well, the vehicle speed signal in a car, it comes from an ABS sensor. Let's take the circuit as it is. It is actually so that I have the wiring diagram of the car, so I know exactly how the signal is transmitted. So it comes from an ABS sensor, moves on to the ABS control unit. The ABS control unit passes on that signal to the engine control unit, which then passes that signal on to the power steering control unit. So, and actually one thing now, the signal is transmitted from an ABS sensor, it's a whole signal. The ABS signal, the signal from the ABS to the engine control unit is a canvas. And what do you know? The signal from the engine control unit is actually a pulse width modeling signal. This tells me that if I were to diagnose on what is wrong with those signals, I cannot even use a regular voltmeter or multimeter. I need to use an oscilloscope. Yes, I do have that, but it's not enough having that. I also need the exact wiring diagram of those wires. Hmm, it's going to be a little complicated now, but what I could do, well, why not just use the scan tool to put me in the right ballpark, kind of using it like a multimeter, saying, okay, all right, power steering control module, you're telling me that there is no signal. I'm going to confirm it with this one. And if there is no signal, I'm simply just going to go a step back and see, okay, engine control unit, do you receive the signal? Where does it actually stop the circuit? So let's hook it up and let's see if we can trigger that vehicle speed signal and read it on the live data. So I have my scan tool hooked up. I got my car raised from the floor. And what I'm going to do now is simply I'm going to go into the error code and even though this is a more expensive scan tool, you have access to exactly the same light data as I do. It doesn't make a difference. Keep that in mind. So what I'm actually going to do now, I'm focusing on the vehicle speed from the power steering control unit. And uh, well, how about we just have a look at the data stream, because this is what it's all about. And what we have here is the vehicle speed. So. I'm actually going to press that one and just say OK. And what you can see now is that it says zero kilometers an hour. Basically, it's standing still. But if the signal would work, I could just turn my wheel. And uh, well, you will see the velocity increase, but there is no increase in velocity. So 
okay, I'm actually confirming now, it is true, there is no signal. Then what I'm gonna do is, I'm actually just gonna go back and then just like on the blackboard say, okay, but this signal, it comes from the engine control unit. Hmm, why don't we have a look at that one? So I'm just gonna take the engine control unit. Let's see if it's gonna find it. Yes, and it found it. I'm just gonna press OK. So what I'm gonna do here is gonna read the data stream. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find that exact same signal. Vehicle speed, it's right there. I'm gonna press OK. So, and I want you to keep an eye on the speed now. I'm gonna turn the wheel. And you can actually see, well, there is a signal here. So the engine control unit, it does receive the signal, but somehow it doesn't transmit it to the power steering control unit. And that has put me exactly in the ballpark where I needed to be in a fast and very efficient way without using a multimeter, an oscilloscope or anything. Now I know where I should address my uh, diagnostics, you could say. So. I hope you like this video and yeah, uh, you could subscribe. The next video will come in uh, less than a month and it's going to be similar. It's going to be a different topic, but still addressing live data from your scan tool. Take care, stay safe. Bye.